Howdy out there folks, today we're going to take a quick look at the standard def DVD release of Less Than Zero. I believe at this point the only way you can get this movie on physical media. It'd be great to have a 4K or a Blu-ray, but uh, for the time being I believe this is what we got, at least in Region A. And uh, I think what's most notable about the film is that I can think of no other movie that is more 80s than this movie. It just has its finger right on the pulse. It was, of course, set in, I believe, 1986 or 87. It uh, was based on a Brett Easton Ellis um, novel of, I believe, the same name. And it just feels like a sibling, absolutely, to American Psycho and... Um, Rules of Attraction, which incidentally, I'm not a big fan of Rules of Attraction. I think the movie and the story are just not really my bag, but American Psycho, the movie is a classic. The book is a little hard. Um, I actually couldn't finish it. There's some moments in it that just, I, I think, go too far. But uh, Less Than Zero, just this flick, just absolutely nails the era in a way that few have. Uh, and I would also like to comment that it's beautifully lensed by Ed Lackman, who of course did uh, he did the cinematographer cinematography rather for Dark Waters, uh, Far From Heaven, um, goodness, he's he's uh, the Limey Steven Soderbergh. The guy has skills, and this flick looks great. And even though this is just a standard def DVD, I think it still looks quite good. And you can tell there was a lot of thought that went into each shot. Now, the other notable thing about the movie is how Robert Downey Jr., of course, was basically playing the person that he was going to become or was on his way to becoming in real life. And it's quite sad and also tragic because you watch him in this performance and you think, wow, it's as, it's as though he never really shed the character and continued to live in that capacity, uh, you know, for another 15 years. Um, it's really quite sad, and he's he's excellent in it, as he often is, and uh, I also think that uh, James Spader gives a, basically a star-winning turn as the sort of sleazy young drug dealer in the film, uh, slightly sinister at that, uh, but I think what hurts the movie is that the performances are so lopsided, because while I am a Jamie Gertz and Andrew McCarthy fan, at least in some films, Jamie Gertz, of course, is the actress who played the star in The Lost Boys, uh, lovingly so. I mean, she was terrific in that movie. Andrew McCarthy, of course, uh, in Weekend at Bernie's, one of my favorites. Um, but my God, they're just not very good in this film. And every time the camera turns towards them, you can't help but feel the quality just crater. Uh, they just aren't up to the task, and I'm not saying that they're bad actors, um, constitutionally speaking, but they gave, both of them gave pretty bad performances in this film, whereas Robert Downey Jr. and James Spader were just absolutely terrific, and every time they were on screen, it, it was as though the movie just automatically went up an order of magnitude and in interest, at least for me. So, I would definitely recommend this film if you've seen American Psycho or read any of uh, Bretton Easton Ellis's novels. I think it's definitely, um, you know, a, an interesting story, uh, beautifully shot, and at least with two of the th four main actors exquisitely acted. Um, I just think it's a, it's definitely a worthy film that captures the sort of zeitgeist of the mid to late 80s uh, in LA, uh, or really anywhere for that matter, but I think n nowhere could it be just exemplified uh, in the way it did, the way it was rather, with uh, the setting being in Los Angeles. So on that note, I will just say, check it out if you can. It's hard to get. I mean, I think even finding this streaming is difficult. I'm sure you could tour in it somewhere, uh, but I prefer to have my um, films on physical media, especially if I like them. And again, this standard F DVD looks pretty good, sounds great. Uh, I just wish it was given a little more TLC and perhaps given at least a Blu-ray release on a new remaster. So on that note, please do take care out there, everyone. Stay safe, be kind, and keep watching good cinema.